All right, ladies and gentlemen, how quick things change in these markets. BTC uh, put in a nice little run here the past several days, starting to slow down a little bit here. Nothing too bad. Let's get this chart super unjumbled with all those alert levels right there. But but yeah, so great move here a couple days ago, giving us our follow through day yesterday with a good hammer candle showing that we have the ability to bounce back already, which is good because we did try to sell off early yesterday and then came back really nicely. Uh, today, though, we're starting to lose a little bit of momentum. Nothing tragic going on here, but you've seen the RSI. You have a di clear divergence here in the RSI. Volume aggregation tool shows the sellers are with the buyers. Oh, buyers are definitely still around. So we're past this early bounce up. Now we're wait now we're going to see what this market's made of. Can it hold in here? Can it hold lows? What's it going to do? Um, so no major trade on BTC right now, but good action overall, I think. Uh, slowing down, I don't mind, even mind how it's slowing down. I think it'll it'll give it a nice chance to test something. If it just goes sideways, then you got recent highs here as potential alerts, which I don't have yet, like the 66, 166, which is the high of the day today. And we'll see what we get in, in the next couple of days. But it's holding its moving averages. If you want to buy dips, you could buy a dip here. Here we got supported by this 21 period moving average on the two hour chart, which is what this is, two hour chart. And then this one right here, we're getting pretty close to that 50 period moving average. Also this trend line coming into play, which has been holding since these since the lows here from this little structure underneath the 59.545. So, so far all things are doing pretty good. Uh, several of the altcoins are looking good. Ethereum's looking good. Um, a lot of things are looking good. BNB is looking good. Some other ones that even aren't super high market cap are looking good too. WLD had a great move out of a small consolidation. Um, so that's good for the markets. On to the hot coins of the day, which are kind of an amalgamation for the markets. And one of them is XRP, which we had here with a cup and handle yesterday uh, in my power hour group at 57.15. And with a great movement up here today all green candles so far doesn't mean a lot because there are some wicks up here indicating there is some distribution but uh this move seems to have some legs to it and we'll see how it goes uh, xrp can make some larger moves there's definitely going to be some resistance here though around the 75 cent level looks like a little earlier than that but good volume on the daily time frame and yeah so far so good you can't do much with it here though but you can maybe wait for a small pullback with a very tight stop loss uh, but you don't want to buy XRP extended. It, when it pulls in, it can pull in very heavy and very fast. So you don't want to buy this name extended. But if you do have to buy it, wait for a consolidation, try to pick a low, and then have a very tight stop loss. And uh, the next hot coin of the day is FET. Uh, FET coming out of a, or trying to come out of a small consolidation. This one we do follow. There's another trend line here, maybe makes this a channel actually. Pretty close. Yeah, pretty close if you give up some wicks down here. So it's in the middle of this supposed channel. And doing good the past couple of days. Volume aggregation tool in the two hour looks good. Solid buying pressure. Sellers are not really increasing their, their volume that much. You've got uh, RSIs here. Not horrible as a matter of fact right now. But usually when you see uh, coins that are extended like this, you can't buy them. They're just unbuyable at this level. You have to try to get on lower. And in this case, I, I wouldn't have recommended buying lower just, just because of the market environment that we were in. Until you go market in a follow-through day, it's really risky to buy a bottom. It's not something um, that I find very advantageous. A lot more of them fail than succeed. So we're in this kind of first, I think, later stages of this first leg up. So consolidation would be good. But just the fact, you see, any name you see up here in the hot tokens, uh, here's a little, little tip for you. You can keep an eye on them because... And if you see them three and four times, that's even better because that means that they have a lot of people stepping into them and uh, lifting them up, okay? Even pushing them down sometimes can be advantageous, but yeah, for the most part, stick to the ones that are positive. And so FET is the first, first time it's been on this one, but let's see if it shows up here in the next couple of weeks. All right, guys, that's all I got for you here in the best five minutes every day, and I'll see you tomorrow on Altcoin Buzz Trading.